Listen, There's so three of them all around me. So listen. You, you listen for a second. So the fire is going to be under investigation. That's fine. Okay. And we're going to seize your phone. Why? Because we are, because the fire is under investigation. I need to know what my So you can hand me the phone or I can take the phone. But I need to know what my phone's being. They're not telling me a reason why my phone's being. I just, I just did. Go ahead and hand me the phone. I have to know if my phone is being. Go ahead and hand me the phone. Do not kick. Okay, push your legs out. Stop. 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 Relax. Stop. Relax. Mom, I'm not letting go. I promise. Relax. Hey, hey. Mom, I'm not letting Relax. go. Relax. We just want your phone. That's it. We okay. just want your phone. Oh, no. They're trying to give you enough protection. Get. Taylor. No, back. Don't. No. Stop. 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 Stop kicking. Stop kicking. Mom, they're trying to get me. Hey, no. Taylor, give me your hand. This video is a perfect example of what is wrong with policing in this country. Even on a case that does not thankfully have to end in horrible injury or have to end, God forbid, in murder at the hands of police. This shows exactly what is wrong with the way police approach incidents in this country. And it seems so fitting, sadly and strangely, that this woman's name is Taylor Brown. And she was arrested violently like this this by the normal police department in normal Illinois. Literally, this video is of a woman named Brown being arrested by normal police. And the pun works perfectly because, sadly, that's how normally the police treat people of color these days in this country. Give me your hand, Taylor. Which way we roll? Give me your hand. Ow. I almost... Ow. I'm going to keep doing the pressure point until you let go. Let go. Got this hand? Release your hand. Right. Release your other hand. Release your other hand, Taylor. I got her elbow out. Right here. I got a rip. Got this. Who has cuffs? Cuffs. Cuffs. Okay, you can let go. Watch out, look under. Relax. I got it right now. Oh my God! Y'all put me in cuffs now. No, I'm not under arrest. Relax your arm, Taylor. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. Relax your Release arm. The hand. Under you know what? You want a second third? No. Sorry. Oh my God! I'm, I'm following the case as soon as I get off this floor. Let me move. You all have no right. I can't get out here willingly because right. you're a black right. woman. Get up. So, okay. Hold on. I want you to right. think about how you're doing another black woman. Okay. Where you going? Relax. Sleep? Relax. And even if she weren't a person of color, this video shows the mistreatment of just human beings as Miss Brown repeatedly in this video says that she's being put into the police vehicle. Just talk to me like a human being. It's the problem with policing, with over-policing, with aggressive policing, is they don't ever think that they should not win a situation. They don't think that they should ever or could ever be convinced by an innocent person that maybe you're being too aggressive here Let's change tactics. Maybe let this person go home. Because guess what? You cannot seize somebody's property without a search warrant. As somebody put out in the, pointed out, out in the comments, it's usually you need two search warrants for a phone, one for the physical property and one for the contents inside of it. And instead, this police officer, who it seems was black herself, was seizing this woman's phone for no reason. Not only without a warrant, but without even telling her why. She you just put me in handcuffs and I came down here willingly. Can you not hear it? Double lock. Hold on, let me talk about it. I'm getting down here willingly. Get off of me. Nope, relax. Down. Stay down. Get me off the floor. Relax. Stay down. Why am I on the floor? All right, Taylor. Okay, we're going to roll this Why way. Why are you pinning nope. me on the floor? You're, we're going to get you up. Relax. Stay relax. You're pinning me up like a am human. We're going left. We're going, left. we're going my way. Roll my way. We're going your way. Roll my way. All right, stand up. Get to go to your knees, Taylor. And y'all just okay with this? All of y'all. And you a black woman? You are a black African American woman. All right. Is that our property? Oh, that one's Where's the phone at? You're black. All right, we're going this way. They're white. I expect them from them. All right, You're black dude. Okay. You also kicked me in the head, so. You also. I came down right, here willingly because I trusted you. And look at what you're doing. She kept saying, we're going to be investigating the fire that happened in an apartment that Miss Brown was at or knows something about and voluntarily agreed to come down to the police department. And then she goes, and we're going to be seizing your phone. We're going to be investigating the fire and we're going to be seizing your phone. The fire is going to be under investigation. That's fine. Okay. And we're going to seize your phone. Why? 
because we are. You can't just say you're going to take someone's property as though that's the reason, as though that's a warrant, as though that's got any legal merit whatsoever. How about we're not going to be seizing the phone because she's every bit within her right to refuse that. She voluntarily came to the police station and was made to wait in a room for 40 minutes waiting for the detective to show up. She said, I want to go home instead. I was offered a ride home, but only if they let them seize her phone. Why? What's that got to do with anything? It doesn't. The police should be respected when they are saying and doing things within the law. They should be complied with when they are making reasonable requests that are lawful. They should not be respected or listened to when they are violating your legal rights, your constitutional rights, your right to autonomy, your right against illegal search and seizure, and certainly your right to not be manhandled and thrown to the ground and put pressure points behind your ear and knees on your neck and back, as happened to Ms. Brown, because you were trying to help an investigation. That's not the role of police to be this entity that we are afraid of. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Police have a real problem with their public image in this country. When every time anyone sees a police officer, our reaction is to get nervous. Even me as a white person, mostly white. When I see a cop behind me, I'm never, oh, thank God. Even if I've done nothing wrong, I think, oh, sh it's the police. That's not the right mood to be invoked by seeing the cops. It says on the side of the car to protect and serve, not to frighten and paralyze. Less catchy slogan that way. That's probably why it doesn't say it. But then live up to the catchier slogan. Come on, do better than this. And I'll say that through the safety of this video. If there was an officer right here, I would say, I think you're doing great. Please don't hurt me. I'm Ben Gleeb for Rebel HQ. Check out my stand-up comedy videos three days a week on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ben Gleeb.